Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And this is Debo's Nation. I have two videos for you today. One is of Amagansen Press stirring up trouble in uh, Greenwich, Connecticut. And the second video is of Auditing America stirring up trouble in a post office with a certain employee over Poster 7. Customers are not feeling comfortable with you guys recording them coming in and out the store. You don't want your picture taken? No. Stop it. You just called me and said, hey, I don't want my picture taken. What are you doing? What are you doing? I've heard of you too. So a few things are going to be closed today because it's Labor Day. It's a holiday. Uh, but for any of you guys who don't know, out on the East Coast, uh, in the Northeast, Labor Day is kind of like the last hurrah for all the people who are out here for the summer. So here's a place called the Granola Bar. Oh yeah, you can walk through whatever. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, you can't go this way. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Keep smiling. Um, what? Can I just ask what you're filming? Can you ask what I'm filming? Yeah. I'm just Are taking you? some pictures. Oh, I don't care. I'm just, my customers are complaining. Complaining? Yeah. Really? I was like, they're in public. They can film whatever they want. But. I call bulls crap on this one <laughs> it looks way too scripted for me again i mean you guys judge for yourself i mean she just saying everything that he was going to say and it's word for word almost it's almost like she was handed a script and said listen can you come and say this and then be gone and it, hey it's an easy way for a fan to get on uh, one of his videos so i don't know you let me know and they're complaining about yeah. it? Yeah, people are like, they're that's like uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, you're in public. Yeah, that's all we're doing. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, was like, I was like, I'll go out and ask. I could care less. You guys do what you gotta do. It doesn't make any I'm sense. I'm just trying to make it look like I'm asking what's going on. I got but, you. No, yeah, that's you're really good. Cool. No, yeah. I appreciate it. You're yeah, good. You know what? And I get that all the time. Yeah. The camera attracts a lot of people attention. People don't know that if you're in public. And some people, even yeah. once they find out that that's the deal, they're still upset. So oh, there's yeah. just no, no. pleasing some I was people. like, no, they're in public. They can film whatever they want. Like, I'm like, no, they can. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. No, I appreciate but, it. Yeah, no, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so that's great. Uh, the employee there of the granola bar here knows that we're not doing anything wrong, and uh, she's fine with it. Unfortunately, not all the customers are the same way, but... Can I be in it? Absolutely. <laughs> what do you have to say? Well, what's it about? It, life as it happens. So the, the pallet's wide open for you. Nah, uh, I don't have anything good to say. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> no, you're gonna do it. Where, where are you going to show her? Oh, you have to do a pose for me. I can't tell you. No, no. No, no I'm just where, where are you going? Where are you going to show us? Oh, I wonder why people don't take this opportunity and turn it around on them and use them. They could very easily ask them how many subscribers are, are watching. And then, then they'll tell you, they'll make up this ridiculous number and say, well, if you have that many uh, subscribers watching, why don't you come on in and we'll show you all our sales going on if you give us a plug in your video. And you know that he's going to bite for it, so he's going to take it. And he, you're going to get a plug in front of 350,000 subscribers or whatever it is he's got. And it's, uh, it's more publicity for your business. <laughs> and you used his venue to do it. Can't work out any better than that as a manager. There you go. Hold on, hold on, don't move. Beautiful. Love it. Thank, Thank you. you. Where is this for? Seriously, what? I never know. I never know. I, I offer it, it to some people. It's just sales Sometimes they're, they're tourists things or sometimes promotional things or wow. sometimes I just put it on my YouTube channel okay. for interest. I just so. hope I don't look too bad. I think you look fantastic. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. You Thank you. Oh sorry? What are you guys filming? 
Oh, I'll just taking some video. Of CBS? I need somebody to explain something to me about this movement. And it's, I don't know why they all have to be so ignorant and arrogant. Like, you can still do your your filming and you can do your taping, videoing, p taking pictures, do whatever you want. But why do they have to be so ignorant to people? What are, you, what are you doing? Well, that's a normal question for people to ask. And then you say, well, I don't answer questions. Okay, well, as soon as you say that, to me, that's red flags right there. I don't answer questions. Like, why can't you have a civil conversation like somebody else just walking down the street? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, I don't get it. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I don't want my picture taken. You don't want your picture taken? No. Stop it. What are you I'm, I'm over here. I'm, you're pointing this way though. You just called me. You said, hey, I don't want my picture your, taken. Your camera was pointing. What are you doing? What are you doing? What does that mean? I'm not supposed what to take pictures doing? because you're out on the street? You're an asshole. <laughs> Yeah, we're filming Starbucks here, standing where we're standing now. And nobody was paying any attention to you anyway. This guy was in the parking spot, all the way behind that yellow fire hydrant there. And yells all the way across to tell us not to take pictures of him. Man, I, I think that's like a personal record for the furthest somebody's called us over to tell us not to film them. Probably. That's amazing. Is this for a movie or something? Sorry? Is this for a movie or something? Because customers are not feeling comfortable with you guys recording them coming in and out the store. Customers are not feeling comfortable with that? Yeah, I just had a customer complain about that. They don't know what the situation is with y'all recording. Well, what you tell them? I don't know what to tell them because I don't know what you guys are doing. Oh, okay. Just tell them what you're taking some pictures. Some video. Uh, I don't think I can have you guys like just in front of the store like this and taking videos. Why is that? Let me, let me, I have to call him about that. Okay. Keep me posted. Who is it? Who is it? Who's in there? Oh, all right. No? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey. People assuming we're paparazzi, I guess. Have you ever noticed that Jason never backs up? He always wants the other person. But look at where he's standing. He has more room to back up than the other guy. The other guy backs up onto the street where Jason can just back up a foot on the sidewalk. It's his narcissism at its best. He's, he has to take control of the scene. So, what's going on with the film? Yeah, why are you filming? I don't know. Filming for some special reason or just to film people for no reason? Reason. Well, you seem like you have an idea, so do you want to share with me what you think I'm yeah, doing? Yeah, I think that you're just being uh, a dick. And you think you I'm being a dick? Film people. Okay. Make them feel uncomfortable. That's is that what, what it is? That's what you think? Is that what it is? I hope that's not what it is. That's what you think, huh? No, that's not what it is. Good. Yeah. Good. Is it for yeah. some type of dumb Although I could be lying to you, but you no, could that's be. not what it is. You, you look, look pretty gullible. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Is it for a documentary? Is it for a documentary? Yeah. It depends. Documentary is very subjective. You know what? It's okay. Cool. And I think you're a dick too, so I have I nice Well, from one dick to another. There you go. Nice guy, see? Oh, that's you, you got to witness something that's here. Well, wouldn't you look at this guy? He's a pretty well-placed actor. In the right spot at the right time. Hmm.
It is fascinating. It's like a trick. Are you way here? Not at all. No. It's like a trick. No, I'm not the model. We're out filming life as it happens. No, yeah, that's it. So whatever happens, that happens. That line be too long. So here's your model. <laughs> no. Here's your moment. You the need... camera works, baby. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, you just need to ignore people like that. They need to, like... Those are people who are angry, and they just need to get it out at somebody else. Well, luckily, I have a gift of smelling that immediately, so I don't get too tangled up in it. Yes, Jason. I bet you there's a lot of things that only you can smell, and that ain't one of them. <laughs> but, like, but I'll let him hang himself a little bit first. But every time, you have to just remind him, because I don't want anywhere near Oh, come on, you're doing great. No, you're, no, no. You're a wonder, you're... I love, I I love I your thought no, process. No, no, no. Okay, cool. I don't want to be anywhere near a Did you see that? That's even stranger, wasn't it? You walked up doing so well. You're so open-minded and so this out for? there. What are you doing? You know what? Let me tell you I what I... Let me tell you what I tell my kids, and then I'll let you go. There's nothing for you in your comfort zone. Get out of it. I, I know, it's but an I, empty don't like void. I don't want to be honest. Run away from your comfort zone. It's a scary place to be. Yes, Jason, and I think this whole movement is in a very dangerous comfort zone right now for what they want to try to accomplish. You're nothing but wanting to exercise authority. Those who enjoy responsibility usually get it. Those who merely exercise authority usually lose it. So, just remember, there's somebody smarter than any one of us. And that's all of us. And Jason, there's a lot more of us than you guys. So, just jump out of your comfort zone. This is fascinating. Remarkable. I have to say. <laughs> it is. I cannot wait until tomorrow. I'm certainly going to start off. Class. There you go, right on. See, I've given you a little inspiration. Wow, I love it. Yeah, That's awesome. Crazy. And you've done the same for me, and I thank you for that. Yeah, really. This is fascinating. Yeah. I just can't believe it. It's incredible stuff. A lot of labor there. Hey, you can, have a, you can have the fun by yourself, too. Just get a camera. You won't believe it. Just, like, stand outside of a tripod. People, yeah, wow. I just yeah, just be prepared, it. because you might get attacked. That's happened, too. I'm just fascinated. Yeah. 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 See, and if I would have told you before you just saw all that how stupid people would act, you wouldn't have believed me. I would have been like, oh, yeah. But like in the rapid succession, people getting so angry. Oh, stick around. Stick around. I thought, oh, how nice. They're like filming the building, maybe looking at some people walking around. Yeah. I didn't think like, oh, this person's trying to get a And obviously, I don't think a guy that's doing anything nefarious is going to walk around with this in broad daylight, right? Oh, Jason, Jason, Jason. You are so wrong about that statement. The only thing this whole movement is doing is giving the actual criminals an umbrella to work under. If they ever get approached, they can just say, I'm just pra exercising my First Amendment right to uh, pretend I'm the press for a day. And uh, oh, I don't need to, I don't answer questions. And I'm, you know what, I'm going to flip a mask on too so you can't even see who I am. And then I'm going to walk into the building and now that I know where everything is. <laughs> Oh my God! If Jason is so naive, if he think he really thinks this way, but I think everybody's following him because everything he says, I can hear other auditors saying it. Especially, yeah. Uh, oh. People, t you know, I've had people say that to me. It looks like you're casing the place. I said, if I, these days in 2022, if I was casing the place, I'd have the six Starbucks. cameras on me that you don't even know about. The Starbucks, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna steal some beans. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah see that guy we were just talking to is great. That's uh. How a normal person should see things. I mean, it seemed to me like he hasn't been tainted either way for or against public photography, and he's just experiencing it uh, without any bias to it, just seeing what people do uh, when they come confront us for taking pictures, and it's ridiculous. You saw how mind blown he was that people get that upset, and uh, you know, it's just as surprising to us uh, after doing it all this time that people really get that upset over somebody taking pictures. What are you guys filming? Life as it happens. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's like you're waiting to ambush someone. Waiting, are you waiting to ambush someone? Ambush somebody? No. Why would I do that? I hear it commands a big price. Ambushing people? Yeah. I'm good. People who are known. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Like the paparazzi thing. Right, right. Sometimes I pretend that's what I'm doing in my own mind, but it's not. Sounds exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Life's exciting. Yeah. Enjoy it. Okay, everybody. This is not creepy at all. 
but in this next segment somebody look for the police officer before he zooms in and then watch how far he has to go to zoom in to be able to see him and then it proves that when they're walking near banks they can zoom right in on windows and see what what they're doing on the computer and i think in this particular instance they're going above and beyond and they have proven that they have the ability to be able to see further than the eye can see so we trust we can't trespass the eye but we can trespass the camera because this is getting ridiculous now the banks and everything have to close up all their windows they can't even get fresh sunlight in because they don't want to hurt jason's feelings oh well It was one of those bicycle cops all the way over there. I tried to take a picture with my stills camera. That'll probably be the best way to zoom in on him. Uh, staring at us. Oh, you're here now. Just taking some video, you know. Video Labor on? Day, yeah. Starbucks time. Cool, man. Have a good one. That's why I think these videos, just walking around downtown in public places, are so... Uh, important and also so entertaining as you get such a wide spectrum of people um, you know everybody hangs out downtown from uh, all kinds of different people you know and uh, some people are very normal don't have an issue with the camera and some people freak out so it's a whole spectrum I bet you if you were taking pictures of your father and your father was taking pictures of you and and focusing on you nobody would even have an issue with that but it's the fact that you stop and zero in on certain people and then watch them freak out because you're zeroing in on them so you're creating that person to get upset you know that person somebody's going to get upset you do this purposely to get this reaction and by the looks of it you'll travel to any links to get it. You're brutal. So here's a Greenwich police vehicle. Not sure if he's stopping here or not. Uh, kind of seems like he is, but we'll see. Yeah, so the cop just pulled up like six parking spaces down over there. Uh, kept looking at us, so I'm assuming probably showing up to see what we're doing. Who's in there? You. Just to let everybody know, the crime of disorderly conduct is also known as the crime of disturbing the peace, section 647. Disorderly conduct is a crime that involves public activity or behavior that is offensive, disruptive, or interrupts other people's ability to enjoy the same space. Food for thought. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, who's in there? Nobody. Who are you waiting for? You're waiting for someone. No, we're actually, I'm doing a little video. We're just trying to get some payroll footage of the crowds walking by and oh. people coming in and out of the stores. Okay. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. Bye, you film yeah, no, go ahead. It's fine. So, police officer's going into Starbucks now. I'd assume he's going to go ask him uh, why they called the police on us, because I'm figuring they did. But, uh, it's yet to be seen. Well, we're not. Oh, I was gonna say because we're not the press. Well, we're not. Oh, I was gonna say because we're not the press. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Are you an immigrant to the press? Did you get one for me? You want one? No. Is that who you are? Guilty as charged. Oh, that's so yes, cool. Sir. <laughs>
so sweaty you don't want to shake it. Very cool. You know what I got? What, what's your name and badge number? Why sock 106. 106. Yeah. You are the first police officer to walk up and know and admit that they know who I am. I saw you and I didn't recognize you and then I was in there I was like wait a second I think I know that guy. I see, I see your videos. Did they call you guys? Nobody called. No? Nobody called. Oh, I'm surprised because the guy from Starbucks came out and he told us he didn't want us out here taking video on the sidewalk. Well he can say that but it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Yeah, Very no good. worries. Do you guys, let me ask you, since we're having a conversation, do you guys have any training on First Amendment type of stuff? Were there any memos? No, we don't have any like specific thing. No one's come here yet. Oh, really? We haven't had any guys. Well, I can't say that anymore. <laughs> but, this is uh, my son. His channel is Watching how you doing? the Watchmen. Tough. What's it called? Watching the Watchmen. Watch them watch me? Watching the Watchmen. Watching the, oh, I've, I've heard of you too. Yeah. But, uh, how's everything? Everything's good. Thanks for playing, man. Yeah, no, and I appreciate the uh, police department here being up to speed. Yep. It's very yeah. important, and I think, uh, you know, it gives you guys an opportunity to uh, educate people when we're out and quell mm -hmm. their fears instead of some, the way some guys do it. They come out and just rile everybody back up. And, yeah, we we have a, a probably different police model than a lot of other places do. We're very, a good like, chief? Community, yeah, very good. Good. Very community-oriented, customer service-based stuff. So. And this guy is definitely a subscriber or a fan or a definitely an actor, that's for sure. Very cool. Uh, maybe a little different than what you've seen, but I'm from Long Island too. Oh, are you? So I... What part? Smithtown. Oh, okay. Very cool. Obviously, uh, I have an answer. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. But I've seen yeah some of your stuff out in East Hampton. I used to have family out in East Hampton years ago i don't go out there anymore but right yeah i don't have, i don't go out there anymore either i see you have a lot of inter you. i see you have a lot of interaction with those guys so yeah well not anymore those are all the new york videos are old i moved out west oh is that right yeah, yeah. Oh, okay yeah well we're just back on it's a still, trip to the northeast to see family it still comes up on my like feed every once in a while good they're promoting the old videos good news for yeah, me yeah i don't <laughs> know who it is i guess it's just on youtube or something it just pops up the, the dispatch may just send somebody anyway but we know, right. you know, we I have mean, civilian dispatchers, so they, gotcha. you know, they uh, kind of have to send us every time they get a call. Well, and it's like you said before, different departments handle things differently. Yeah. So some departments will just do a drive-by, see there's yeah. nothing going on, and just keep going. Right. Others will stop and try to... Uh... It's funny how much Jason thinks he knows about policing, <laughs> when he actually knows nothing about it. Enforce people's feelings that aren't happy with what we're doing. Sure. So, um, Have you ever been here, Grant? First time. Yeah, believe it or not, Very grew nice, up on Long yeah. Island. First yep. time I've ever yeah. been here. Yeah. I mean, this is like the main strip in town here. Yep. Beautiful, really high-end retail. Nice. It's a nice... Is it I mean, always the whole this, town's nice, but... Always this humid? Oh, yeah. This is yeah, it's brutal, the same man. weather as Long Island. You look like you're handling it better than I am with all that equipment. Well, I'm used to it at yeah. this point. Once, you, once you've sweated through everything, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, <laughs> I got so. you. Then it starts keeping you cool. Yeah, a little right? bit. Yeah. It just feels gross, actually. Yeah, it does. All right, guys. Well, if you need anything, Wine let stock, us know. you're the man. We appreciate you. All right, guys. You. Be Thank good. You. Appreciate you. I'm working till midnight, so if somebody calls and they send a couple of us, I may come. But like I said, you guys are good. Yeah, we're actually planning on doing some night stuff, so keep an eye out for us. Yeah, well, this is the this is like the main part of town. This is the busiest part of town right here. This is, and this is probably like the busiest corner. Probably. The, spot, the police, yeah. so the... I don't know if you know, the police department's right there okay. on the other side. So we'll uh, tell them Weinstock sent us over to take some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> very, go check out the lobby. It's very nice in there, actually. Cool. Yep. All right, All right guys. You, Catch Thank you later. You so <laughs> so we're going to park that video there and we're going to lead into another video and it's from Auditing America doing his thing in the post office. Ciao for now. Editing America, we're in Texas and we're at the United States Post Office. We're gonna do a First Amendment audit. I'm I think I could spot a frauder anywhere. Have you ever noticed they all have a certain look to them? <laughs> I'm out with Mr. Manco, shout outs to Mr. Manco, shout outs to Mr. Hands over here in Texas, making sure we stand up and protect our rights. Let's see how it goes. See if they respect poster seven, the rules and regulations from the post office. Take a good 
Gucci. No, I'm just taking a video. Okay, now get out. <laughs> Specifically, what does you know me mean, sir? It means he knows your kind, and he knows how to handle your kind, and he could shut that place down in a second. That's what he means by, you know me. Does that mean you're going to react in a violent way because somebody taking a picture of you? Son of a bitch, Paul, why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! What does that you know me means? I don't know what that means, Mr. Mr. Vincent. Is it Vincent? How's it How's it going, brother? Good, sir. Are you the, Are you the supervisor here? Are you the supervisor? Hello, sir. Can I ask you a question? Sir? Now while you videotaping. Well, if, sir, we have, the, the thing is, we have the right to video record here. Yes, you do. You, so, you, know you do. So why, why would you want me to waive my right to video record if you're not doing anything wrong? I mean, he said, you, he called you and he said, you know me. I mean... Did I come here disrespecting you in any way, Vincent? No. What's your name, sir? Sir? Sir, what's your name? Okay. What's going on here? <laughs> There's that nervous laugh. And they're just handling you guys the way they're supposed to handle you guys is not say anything. But then you sit there like a creep and you force them to speak. Like, I don't know how that's not, you know, some sort of breaking some boundary. Okay, so I'd love to speak to the manager. You got the manager, but we're not having a conversation today. Sir, imagine me, imagine me owning... A Going, going to the supermarket. Fragile, That's disrespectful. Liquid, Imagine. Basketball. Disrespectful. By the way, there's thousands watching. Um, imagine me going to the supermarket and they just tell me I'm not speaking to you when I ask for, hey, where can I find the rice? Or where can I find the chicken? And they just tell me that. You asked me that question. I direct you in the right direction, sir. All right. So I'm asking you what's going on. What's going on with the. What's going on with the attitude? from Vincent what's there's what not a, there's not an that that you um you had you 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 could you do you wait yes there is he said you know me what does you know me mean you need extra insurance we're, hard insurance. we're not going down this road too. I am I am no. because if if you're saying words that may be threatening to me yes we're not yeah nobody is threatening yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's your name then for the record? Because I did get catch it on video, so she know me. And we, they, know me. <laughs> they know me. I've been here thirty years. They know me. Don't you know me? There you go. They I, know me. I don't know. She doesn't sound too convincing, but <laughs> they know me. That's fine. And if you've been here thirty years, Mr. you should Lewis, be. You, you should be respectful. Me? Oh, this is rude. Know. This is rude service. You see? You know, no, no. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I have it on video. You see, you guys can lie all you want on camera, but guess what? There's yes, you are. Okay. Tell me, you know me doesn't does that mean does that mean something? That's what I'm. No, no sir. Okay, so. You need cash back. You don't look fifty. To how how long you been working here? Thirty years. I look good, huh? Stop it. Get some help. Oh, yeah. So why are you complaining about video, bro? You see? 
Oh, I got you on that one. Yeah, I know I look good. <laughs> I get that all the time. Well, there you go, bro. All you're going to get is uh, more more people liking you. That's it. Are you the postmaster? Are you the postmaster, sir? Man, I wish I had a job like that. Where I don't have to answer to nobody. Work for the government. You don't got to answer to nobody. Well, a Salmo, you don't listen to anybody now and you don't have a job. So you can sit around all day long doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine going to Burger King and saying, can I have number one? And the cashier's just ignoring you. Well, when you go into a federal uh, facility, a federal building, your rights should be protected more than anywhere else. But, but you get here. <laughs> this is a federal building. This manager of the post office is actually right. Post office is not privately owned. Despite being owned by the government, the post office still operates with its own independent board, making it a separate and unique business. The post office board holds the responsibility over the operations of the post office. This is a federal building. This guy, so, you're so funny. If something happens here right now, you have to call the, uh, the postal police, which is uh, a federal agency. Yes. Thank you. Yes. You don't even know where you work at, sir. <laughs> and this is just with one simple Google search. It shows the 13 things you should know about the Postal Service. And the number one thing that you should know is the U.S. Postal Service generally, generally receives no tax dollars for operating expenses and relies on the sale of postage, products, and services to fund its operations so it doesn't receive any tax money. So if this was if this was like UPS or FedEx or another company, yeah, I can't be here because they don't work for us. You guys are federal employees. You are a federal employee, sir. For the postal service. The, who runs the postal service? The postal, the the federal government runs the postal service, sir. Yes, yes, yes. What, what, why were you there last time? <laughs> why were you there last time? Sir, you need help? I'll help you right here. <laughs> he's being, he, he's triggered, bro. Why are you so triggered, bro? <laughs> he's being triggered for no reason. He's pointing his big ass finger at my face. <laughs> you see, that's that awkward laugh again that he does all the time when he gets scared. <laughs> oh no, cousin, no cousin, no cousin. But yeah, you can you can make weird threats, right? We're not making. Oh well, it's on video. You can lie all you want, John. How you want to receive that? You can lie all you want, John, but you know what? Videos don't lie. People do. Yeah, he, he looks like a John. That's what I'm saying. He want he want he won't, he works here, but he won't say his name. He's definitely a John. His credit score is at least 780. You know you got good credit. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Does that mean that you're profiling him by saying those things? So how would you like it if we profiled you? Be a whole different ball game. 90% of them, it's an epic failure by you guys. You know what that is? Why do you think I walked in here with a camera, sir? Because I know for a fact that I was going to catch one of you guys doing the wrong thing. It's like, it's like inevitable. I can walk in at most of the post office and they have a problem with this. That's why that's why we have almost a quarter million subscribers on YouTube. That's why we have more than 100 million combined views on the web. You know what that is? You know how hard it is to remove these videos from the internet, sir? That's the walk of shame. That is not the walk of shame. That is exactly how you deal with brothers. 
That's the walk of shame, John. That was, that was the walk of shame. First walk of shame from Mr. Hands. Shout outs to Mr. Hands. Shout outs to Mr. Manko in the house. Oh yeah. Everything's all good. We're poster seven. Look, right here, guys. Easily findable. Poster seven right here. Okay, here's what poster seven actually reads and how I explain it to people. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except where prohibited by an official sign, security force personnel, or other authorized personnel, or a federal court order or rule. Other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head. And the way I see it is an official sign can tell you that you can't record. A security force personnel can tell you you can't record. Other authorized personnel can tell you that you cannot record or a federal court order or a rule. And all other pictures can only be taken with the permission of the postmaster. Plain and simple. Now let's hear his explanation of it. Regarding photographs for news, advertising, and commercial purposes. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except we're prohibited, okay? It's not prohibited, <laughs> prohibited here. Prohibited kind of behind those doors. You know what I'm saying? I can't, well, obviously, I can't jump over the counter. Um, yes. Also, there's a, one more important thing right here in this. Um, That's right. Let, let me see if, yes. Let me see if I can find it. Well, it's somewhere in here. It's somewhere in here, but... What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. May God have mercy on your soul. Exactly, Mr. Hans. Thank you very much. Can you, can you say that to the viewers? Do you, do you remember it? Do you have a, uh, an idea of what it was? In my own words? Yes. That the rules from the whole article that that unbreakable the rules well what it says is that the any any rules posted here cannot be uh um cannot infringe. cannot infringe on anyone's rights you pledged allegiance to this piece of paper all this time and now you're saying that it's not legal <laughs> oh what a guy or the Constitution. Oh, the it's oh, there. Poster 7. You guys can look it up. It's just kind of long right now. Let me see if I can find it. Sir, would you like to tell us your name for the record so we can properly complain in this office? And you for standing up for uh, a gentleman who clearly broke policy? No? Well, we want to be on our way. I mean, we have the right to, to complain, right? So, how do I leave a, uh, how do I do the survey? South District? South Houston Post Office. Okay. South Houston Post Office. Well, that's going to do it for today. I'm going to end it there. And um, I just wanted to, to let everybody know the, uh, the PayPal button is working on my... Uh, on my page now so uh, feel free if you want to make a donation help the channel out um, that'd be great also the thanks button is also uh, in use now as well uh, for YouTube so you can also use that button and uh, that's all I got to say about that and uh, on that please share like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one Debo's out